What's going on YouTube world? Welcome back to the first edited video from Hockman Fabrication and Speed. I know it's been a little while since you've had edited video, but I'm pleased to introduce a new member of the team, at least for this summer, Jacob. How's it going? Jacob is here as my intern for the summer. He was actually an intern over at Bosch Professional Power Tools where I was working formerly, and that's how we originally met. Given all the recent world events, plans for his summer have changed, and he reached out to me. Here we are. Uh, fortunately enough, Jacob is basically a younger version of myself. He's really interested in cars, loves cars. Uh, he's really hands-on and mechanical. He knows how to weld already pretty well, I might say. And he has a lot of experience. When I say a lot, I mean more experience than myself when it comes to the Formula SCE cars. He was actually the president of the Formula SCE team back at his school. He went to uh, University of St. Louis. And so it's uh, one of the reasons he reached out to me was this caught his attention on the channel. And it's perfect to have him along board because as you know, this is outside of my comfort zone. There's a lot of areas of attention needed on this vehicle in order to not only make it a running cha a rolling chassis, but get it up and running. So having Jacob around also not only shadow me and learn more about welding and fabrication, he'll be able to lend us a hand with this project here. So we're ex excited to have him. I've got some other good news that's gonna be coming your way soon. We finished the Black Zenith Evo and it puts on some major power. Uh, it puts on 912 horsepower on uh, Boost in Performance Dyno. They're a Mustang Dyno, so it reads a little bit low. The numbers are relative, as you know, and I only care about a quarter mile, which I think the eights are definitely attainable now. So it's actually still over at Boostin because they're finishing up an alignment and corner balance. Given all the chassis changes that we made on that vehicle, I want to make sure that it goes straight. Planning on picking it up here later this week, hopefully get some track time. Keep you guys in the loop on that as well. We'll also be utilizing Jacob for his video editing skills because as you know, I want to keep this channel going and provide good content. It just takes a lot of time and investment to take the content that we capture and build it into quality material. And he has experience with that. So lots of exciting things coming here at you. But to get things rolling along here first, what we're gonna be working on is the intake manifold for the Formula SAE car. As you know, we acquired a bunch of materials in order to get this rolling along. We've got some 1 8 inch aluminum, along with some velocity stacks and some other thicknesses as well. I've got some quarter inch thick and even some, looks like three eighths. But nonetheless, we're gonna figure out what we need to do in order to build a manifold out of this. And the big thing that he stressed, because he's gonna be basically building the body for this vehicle, was he really wants to keep it as low as possible. And low, I mean really low. So what that results in us having to do is Scrap the whole idea of using couplers and clamps. This is new territory for me as well. We'll set it up for success the best that we can do that. And if we run into issues when we're at the track, we'll address them and adapt from there. So in the short term, we're gonna clean up these throttle bodies. We're gonna weld on a small one inch extension of tubing. And then we're gonna weld on the velocity stacks. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, we specialize in building race cars and components that look as good as they perform. If you're into racing, uh, research, develop, and new products, and just learning all around fab skills, tips, and tricks, this is definitely a channel for you. So do us a favor, hit the subscribe button. So in the short term, we're gonna go ahead and move forward with doing some prep and some welding. So stay tuned. At this point, you guys, we've made our cuts for the extensions. We've done basically one inch extensions for each one of the throttle bodies, and we're going to weld those into place, which will give us a little bit of height away from everything else based on the dimensions of what we're trying to do. After that, we'll weld some velocity stacks on top of that, and that's kind of what we're looking at doing.
Well, it's been a pr productive day so far. First day on the custom intake manifold for the SAE car. We got Jacob just doing some practicing welding right now. So here's where we're at at this point. We've got our extensions welded on with each of the velocity stacks. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this plate, which Jacob's been so kind as to measure out and label up for us. And this will be laid on top and welded after we drill the holes. And this will serve as our base for the manifold. So pretty straightforward. And we're just moving along. And there you have it. There's the finished product. All welded up. That does it for the intake manifold, the custom intake manifold with individual throttle bodies and velocity stacks. I think it came out pretty good. It's the first time I've ever built anything like this. Custom intake manifold. That does it for the intake manifold in this episode, but do stay tuned for our next episode because guess what's back? Black Zenith. That's right. We finished up the dyno tune and now it's back at the shop. Made 912 horsepower on Boostin's Mustang dyno. So we're going to be seeking some eight second passes this weekend if uh, the weather holds up. We've got a new set of wheels and tires. Got a couple of maintenance items that I want to do on the car. I've got to fit my belly pan to the new custom dump tubes that are on it. I haven't really shown you guys a lot of this stuff, but you're going to see another video in addition to the next one. The next one we're going to show you will be about drag racing, going to the track. Hopefully that happens this weekend. And then we're going to be building another video that kind of highlights all the changes that we've made to this car. Jacob's actually not here today because he's working another job. He's got a, a different job that he does as well as his internship here. And he'll be back on Friday. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do some maintenance to this thing, figure out what's next on this SAE car, and we'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for joining us.